Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, and welcome to technically the first video of my channel. I mean, it's not really my first video, but it's the first one where I really communicate and talk and interact and stuff like that. So, in this video, I'm just going to go over how to connect your PlayStation 2 to OBS correctly to record it or stream it, whatever you want to do with your PS2. Now, for me, I the reason I'm making this video is because nobody has, or at least what I found, nobody's really address these kind of things or maybe they have to a certain extent and then you get to a certain point and it's not working correctly they don't have any other guides or you know tips or troubleshooting tips on how to fix it and that's what I'm doing in this video or at least to the best of my ability now um, before we get started you're going to need a couple of things or just keep in mind before you jump into it first things first is the investment part um, it is a little bit expensive in order to do this not like extravagantly but like for perhaps you know a young guy in high school trying to do this um, it might not be as easy for someone you know, who has a job and can pay for their own stuff. But just to let you guys know, it is a bit of an investment because you do need a couple other pieces in order for it to work correctly. Okay, so now that we got that out of the way, now let's talk about um, my laptop and what I'm using like specs-wise so you guys understand at least the minimum for what you need for it to work properly. So if you use something less than what I have for my laptop, it, it might not work properly because of that. I don't know, but this is what I have. I have the... Dell Inspiron 17 7000. You can look it up and the specs I believe it's like 16 gigs of RAM, uh, i7 core, 8 logical processors. Um, it's pretty quick and you know it's not too bad for video editing, making videos and uh, you know that's why I use it for because I am a YouTuber actually and I actually have a, another channel, a gaming channel where I make tons of videos. This is actually the name of it. It's The Night Owl. So if you want to check that out, feel free to go and see how I, you know, make videos on that as well. But I need a good, I needed a good computer in order for it to work because I got the webcam going, I got OBS going, I got streaming, video, a lot of things that I want to do. So I needed a decent computer in order for this to work correctly. So that's just something to keep in mind. Again, if you want to look up the specific specifications for this laptop, it's the Dell Inspiron 17 7000. All right. But with that being said, let's jump into the video. So the first thing you're going to want to do is download OBS Studio. So what we're going to do, we're going to open up Google Chrome or whatever you, whatever browser you use, and we're just going to type in uh, download OBS right there. Boom. Click enter, and you're going to click on download. So whatever you have, if you have a Mac or Windows, um, you just click on download installer, and it should download for you. And once this is done, you see that down there in the left corner, you just click on it, and it'll run through the setup process. Alright, so once you've downloaded OBS and you've installed it and you've opened it up, it's not going to look like this. It's, it's going to be a black screen, there's going to be no webcam, and you're not going to see the endless uh, display that you see on my screen. And the reason that my screen is like this is because if I if I hid the uh, endless looking screen, it would go black and you guys couldn't see anything. Alright, so what you're going to want to do is uh, before you start recording your videos, you're going to want to go to settings. And just a couple of things, it's not too bad. If you're going to stream, that's a little different. Um, you're going to need a stream key in order, whatever you use. If you use YouTube, you're going to need a stream key. If you do, um, I think I use restream.io. Yep, you're going to need your own stream key in order for it to connect from OBS. But I can make a different video on that if you guys want me to. But the output is the most important thing. So this right here, this recording path, um, it sets it to like your videos or some weird other place, something default place. So what you want to do is click on this browse button. Mine's grayed out because I'm recording right now as I'm showing you guys, but if you click the browse button, it's going to open up your file explorer. It's going to look like this, okay? And what you're going to want to do, just select an easy place where you will remember to go to. So if it's your desktop where you want all your videos to go to, you can just click on desktop and I'll have a little button down here that says select folder. Or if you want to, for me, it's my YouTube channel, my YouTube stuff, so I selected my YouTube folder and I click select folder which is down here it's not showing because again it's grayed out because I'm recording and then of course I like to change the recording format the default is FLV if you click on this drop down arrow it'll have a bunch of different options I click mp4 because it's just easier to use for video uploading recording you know all that good stuff so you can use whatever you want whatever is comfortable for you I just like to use mp4 all right, so now we're just going to go down to the video settings as well. I have mine set to both 1080, so it looks nice on the recording, but I think for PlayStation 2 games, you guys don't need to go any higher than 720. So if you just click it here, I think it's the default setting as well. If you clicked on these drop-down arrows while you weren't recording, you can actually change these settings and, of course, the FPS as well. You can make it 30, you can make it 60. Um, honestly, anything above 720 or even 30 FPS you really don't need. It doesn't really affect it that much. Then you just click on this little apply button down here. Okay, and you click OK. Okay, now that you've set up your OBS and you're ready to connect your OBS to your PlayStation, you're going to need a few things. This is where it's going to get a little expensive. And uh, everything that I'm going to be using is going to be linked down in the description. You can gra grab it from Amazon. 
Um, again, it's not cheap, so if you made it this far and you're like, I need a cheaper option, you might need to find a different video. But for me, this is what worked for me because the reason I had to buy so many different things is because when I bought, so I have the HD60 Elgato. All right, so the Gato, Elgato is the thing that transfers your HDMI source, whatever it is, your Xbox or PlayStation 2, whatever, to your TV. All right, so this is what captures your game. You're going to need one of these in order to capture the gameplay. And originally what I had with it was just this. So this is a PlayStation 2 HDMI converter. So the normal, you know, composite that plugs into the back of the PlayStation and the red, yellow, and white, or the green, blue, and red, whatever you have, this bypasses that entire thing because you just plug this into the back of it and you plug the HDMI cord right there. All right, so that's what I did first. All right, HDMI, HDMI, it was easy. Problem was that the gameplay that was coming out was fine. It looked fine, but the audio sounded really terrible. It sounded like this. Yeah, which sounded really bad. I mean, I couldn't use that for any of my videos. So what I had to do was figure out what was the problem. So I was like, all right, so maybe it's the, I was like, so maybe it was the converter. So what I did was I bought a composite to HDMI converter. All right, so this one is the red, green, and blue one, as you can see. All right, because I have the red, green, and blue composite for my PlayStation. And, uh, and there's the HDMI plugs right into here. It goes out into the Oh God, I'll show you guys, I'll show, I'll show you all the setup once I completely do it, but I'm showing you just each individual piece and stuff like that. All right, so I tried that same audio issue. It had that little glitching, weird, jumpy sound. I had no idea what was causing the issue. So I was like, all right, well, maybe it's the PlayStation. So I bought another PlayStation 2, same problem, all right? So then finally, uh, I'm looking through the forums, I'm researching into it, and I'm like, why is it the audio not sounding right? So they said it's because the way the output that the PlayStation works, it outputs it at about 480 pixels. I think it's something like that, 480. And uh, the way that, you know, the Elgato receives it is not translating correctly, and that's what makes the auto bad. So what I had to do was buy a Echo Scaler. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's a little expensive, all right? So I had to buy a scaler for the PlayStation, all right? So I'm going to show you the whole setup here in a second. But what I did, so what you're going to need in order to completely do this Without fail, um, you're going to need an Elgato HD60S, all right? You're going to need a composite converter. Now, you can use the one that has the yellow, red, and white one. Um, I don't have that one because I don't have the yellow, white, and red. I have the blue, green, and red for mine. And uh, you're going to need one of these. And then you're also going to need a scaler, okay? Those are the three things you're going to need in order for it to work properly and correctly. You're also going to need three HDMI cables. For those of you who don't know, HDMI cables look like that. All right, HDMI cables, they have HDMI usually on them, and they go right into these little sockets. All right, all right so I'm going to show you guys the setup here on how everything connects. All right, all right. so here we have our setup. Pardon the mess, it's a little crazy back here. Um, but let's go through the setup on how everything connects. All right, so we got the PlayStation 2 over here. We got a PlayStation 2 Slim um, with the composite cable. All right, so it's coming into here, coming into our converter, connecting from the PlayStation 2 to the converter. HDMI is coming out and into the scaler. All right, you might need an extension cord, by the way, or an extender for all your um, connections and stuff like that, because you're going to need one for the scaler, you're going to need one for the converter. And uh, the HDMI, the, HD, the HD60S connects to your computer. All right, so anyway, so converter connects to your scaler, right? So scaler has two options. You have the HDMI in. I'm just going to turn it here if I can. If you guys can see that right there, HDMI in. That's where your converter cable goes into this. It goes into this and then on HDMI out, you see HDMI out right there. Okay. HDMI goes out. We follow it. It goes to the HD60S, all right? HD60S also has two different options in. So if we look right here. That's the in port. That's where your scaler is going to come in. And then your out goes to the back of your TV. Okay? So, PlayStation 2 to the converter, converter to the scaler. Scaler has a few different options on it. All right, so you're going to want to click this HDMI DVI button to HDMI. It's going to show up on your, um, let me see if I can do it here. If you click this button, this HDMI DVI button, you click it, it switches the TV a little bit. Okay, it's not going to show up because mine's not, see, see that right there? 
that little box right here. This is what you need to set up. All right. So I'm gonna set. I'm gonna keep mine to HDMI because mine's an HD, HDMI. Let's switch it back. And there it is. See the output right here, 720p. You need to make sure. You need to make sure that's compatible with whatever your TV is. My TV only goes up to 720p. So I tried to set it to 1080, but it didn't work because my my TV does not go up that high. So if you see back down here on the buttons, there's a button called RES resolution. Let it clear up a little bit here. There it is. Resolution, see that button? If you click on that one, I'm not going to do it because I don't want it to mess up my setup. But if you click on if you click on the resolution button, it'll change your resolution from 720 to 1080. I think it believe it goes all the way up to 4K. Yeah. So if you change that, if you click that button, it's going to it's going to switch dependent on your TV. So whatever your highest resolution is for your TV, that's that's what this is for. Okay. Yeah, it's a lot of stuff. Anyway, so once you get all that done, um, you have everything connected like I showed you guys. Um, now we need to test in OBS to see if it actually works. All right, so now we need to set up OBS for your PlayStation 2. Okay, now once you have everything set up for OBS uh, with your PS2 and everything, now you're ready to set your OBS to connect with your PlayStation 2. All right, so what you're going to want to do is, again, it's not going to look like this. You should still have a black screen. All right, so we're just going to go down to the plus button and we're going to add a video capture device. All right, you can name whatever you want. You can name it PS2 footage or Elgato, doesn't really matter. You can click on OK. And what you're going to want to do is select your Game Capture HDS, HD60S. Now, um, in a perfect world, if this worked for you and at this point in time you don't, you no longer need any other troubleshooting tips, this is the end of the video for you. I appreciate you for watching and I hope you guys see you in my next one. But if you do have the black screen, so sometimes a black screen pops up and you don't have a signal or you just have a black screen and your TV also has a black screen. All right, so what you want to do here, I actually unplugged my Elgato. So what you're going to want to do first things first is obviously to reset your Elgato game capture. So for mine, it's hooked up in the back here. So if I plug it back in and we try to re-add it, let's see what it says. Let's call it Elgato and game capture HD 60s. Okay. Perfect. Okay, cool. So we have the black screen. I know it's not really good because, you know, you can't do your thing, but perfect. Now I can show you guys. So black screen, TV, black screen. All right. So that means there's no footage. I can't record anything. I can't stream anything. No audio, no nothing. All right. So we're just going to click OK here. And what we're going to do, we're just going to delete that. All right. Let's just remove that. We don't need it. It's not good. All right. So what we're going to do, this is how I test to see if it's working properly. All right. So I'm just going to minimize it and we're going to go back to Google Chrome. Okay. So we're back on Google Chrome and what we're going to do is download there it is. Game Capture HD. Boom. All right. So we're just going to click on downloads from elgato.com and we're just going to scroll down and here it is. Game Capture for Windows. Download the version, whatever the latest version is, or if you're on Mac, just switch it over and grab the Mac one. All right. So if I'm I'm on Windows, I would click this. It downloads it. There it goes. You click on it, run the setup. And then I put it on, I, I created a shortcut. It'll ask you if you want to. You don't have to, but just remember where you download it. So, or where it installs. So now you need to go to Game Capture HD if it's on your desktop. If it's not on your desktop, you can always just type it in the search bar, Game Capture HD, and click on enter. Okay, so once Game Capture HD has shown up, before we start um, trying to troubleshoot why it's not showing up here, you'll know Game Capture HD is working when you see the bottom here. See these little numbers? The time is starting to record. Still black screen, TV still black. All right, so what we're going to do is make sure that these settings are okay. Just going to go into settings real quick. You're going to make sure your input device is to other, not to Xbox One. The PlayStation 2 is not an option here, so I just go down to other. I think the audio input is that for the default. If it's not, change it to HDMI audio. And then for profile, I have it on HD 720. Okay. And once that's done, it's already set. I'm gonna just you're gonna click OK for changes. I didn't change mine, so I'm just gonna click cancel. I still have a black screen. All right. So what I'm going to do now, and a lot of the troubleshooting tips that I have for you guys, it's just a lot of resetting things. So if you have that scaler, like I mentioned that you need, you're gonna to come to the scaler. All right, so I don't know if you can see this. I can't pull it up too far because of the cord. But the scaler, we're just going to unplug it. Unplug the scaler and plug it back in. LED light is on. Uh, no signal is the HDMI input connected. It's waiting for it to 
um, you know, respond to the scaler, waiting for it to come in, give it a few seconds, and boom, there it is. You can see my game is loading up. I can see my Dynasty Warriors. That's the game I'm playing from PlayStation, and uh, it looks like it's good to go. So now what we're going to do, we're going to exit out of this because the game capture cannot use two softwares at the same time. We're going to go back into OBS. All right, so you're not, again, you're not going to have this screen here. Um, you're just going to have a black screen. You're going to right click or click on this plus button and go to video capture device. So let's name it PS2 footage. Ooh, footage. Wait for it to load. And then you're just going to add your Elgato game capture. As you can see, the video is playing. And I have mine set on Elgato game capture HD, which is the software you just checked it in. Or if it's set to this one, it should be the exact same picture. Yeah, okay, there you go. So you can just click on OK, and it should be right there. You use these little red boxes to maximize it. Now I have the whole thing on my screen. All I got to do to redo my webcam is move this up. You see on the bottom right here. Actually, I'm going to move this out the way because you guys can't see it. But you see this right here, this webcam. If you just put this on top, whatever the order is, is the viewing order of your recording. So if your webcam is below my display capture, it goes away. If it's above it, comes back. If it's above the footage, it will be on top of the footage. All right. So if you guys aren't hearing any audio, by the way, the reason I turned it down is because um, I can't record my voice and the footage at the same time because then it will mix together. But if you aren't hearing any audio and this is all the way down, just turn it up a little bit. And now you should be able to hear game audio correctly, not with that fizzy, um, you know, that fizzy sound. So, but that's pretty much it. I, that's pretty much all I have for this video. You, those are the things you're going to need to buy in order for the PS2 and the OBS to connect you know, correctly and record with good audio, good video, and all that good stuff. And I um, hope this video was helpful. If it was, definitely appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions at all, let me know in the comment section, and I will answer them to the best of my ability. Um, but that's pretty much all I have for you guys. Again, if it is a black screen or, you know, something's not working, try resetting things, resetting, turning them off, unplugging, plugging back in. That seems to be the easiest option for me, and that's the problem that I ran into quite a few times. But... You know, I've unplugged my Elgato, didn't work. Start from the scaler, start from the PS2, whatever you got to do. Um, it seems that the scaler itself is the one that needs to be unplugged from now, from time to time. So, like I said, guys, hopefully it helps. And um, hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.